You're watching HUD TV. Coming up on today's programme, the SU elections 2013. Did you vote and do you know who won? We take a look back at the crucial four days of campaigning that resulted in a merry election night full of surprise. Two of this year's winning candidates, the Vice Presidents for Education and Wellbeing and Equality, join me in the studio. Also on the programme, Huddersfield's graduating fashion design students prepare to show off their dazzling work in the annual final year show. We round up the action from this year's Battle of the Bands and we get ready for one of the biggest events of the student calendar. Varsity 2013 is here, celebrating its 25th anniversary in Huddersfield. That's all to come on this edition of Hud TV, so stay tuned. Hello and welcome to HUD TV, keeping you up to date with what's going on around campus. First today, over 30,000 votes were cast, with just over 4,000 students turning out to vote. The Student Union Elections 2013 saw many twists and turns, concluding in a spirited Thursday results night in the SU bar. Some of those who won positions included Coco Thomas, the new Vice President for Communications and Dem Democracy, Matt Wilton, the new, new Vice President for Student Activities, Josh Elderfield, the new Vice President for Education, and Emily Wright, the new Vice President for Wellbeing and Equality. Noshin Dad is the new President of the SU. Our reporter Michael Bristow now on this year's campaign trail. As most of you will have seen and heard, it's that time of year again, the time when students are followed all over campus and asked if they have given their vote. The Students' Union elections 2013 have been, as usual, one of the biggest events of the university calendar. For the candidates involved, it's often one of the biggest events of their lives. But why is it so significant and what makes our issue so important for students to contribute to? Huddersfield Student Union is an organisation run by students for students. It is there to make student life better both on and off campus. For those wanting to make a difference within the Students' Union, election week is a crucial time. HUD TV have caught up with the candidates during election week to find out their thoughts and what they're doing to get votes across campus. I must admit this one's been quite intense but we're running a really happy campaign. We're all dancing, having fun, giving out free tea which students love. Well for me personally it has been quite difficult uh, as I'm standing on my own and not as a team. Um, it has been quite difficult, it's kind of like you're fighting five, five against one. It's definitely character building and it's thoroughly enjoyable seeing you know, friends and you know, other colleagues you know, helping us out to you know, have a really successful campaign. The elections are an important event for the SU organisation and therefore should affect all of us studying on campus. But do they really? What do Huddersfield students make of all the hype surrounding the elections and have they been casting their votes? I quite like seeing the elections happen because new people come through, new ideas, fresh ideas, new concepts. There seems to be a lot more team spirit and people are not being negative this year. So Anyone who's going for um, one of the positions, it's going to be a good opportunity for them to something for the CVs to get out in the world. Obviously, because I've come from Barnsley, spent two years there, I think uh, I'm kind of under the opinion that the whole thing doesn't really mean much. Regardless of opinions, the SU election 2013 was certainly a tight run contest, but just who made the grade for Huddersfield students? Matt Wilton, Emily Wright, Josh Elderfield, Coco Toma. Your president of the Students' Union uh, is Noshin Jad. Jolly well done, firstly to all winners, and secondly to all candidates. I tip my hat to all of you. Michael Brister reporting there on the election campaign. Well, joining me in the studio now are the new Vice Presidents for Education, Josh Elderfield, and uh, for Wellbeing and Equality, Emily Wright. Thanks for joining us in the studio today. Um, first to you, Josh, how does it feel to um, have run a successful election campaign? Well, it feels fantastic, considering I put a lot of planning and effort before the campaign mm. and during. So to have come out the other side victorious, it feels fantastic. And you, Emily? It feels overwhelming. Um, it's a completely weird feeling knowing what you're going to be doing next year. And it's really exciting as well. Mm. Well, what was it like running for the first time in an election? Very nerve wracking. Um, obviously, it's my first election. I didn't know what to expect at all. Mm. And at the end of the week, um, I think everybody that took part was exhausted and just tired because it takes everything out of you. Mm. And you, Josh, uh, did you get a lot of support? Uh, yeah, it was really helpful having uh, my different friend, group of friends helping me out, helping me get by because, mm. as Emily said, it was a long week. It was exhausting. So to have had friends stand by me and help me out throughout the week, it was really, I really appreciated it. Mm. 
Well, uh, did you feel a bit more, I don't know, confident? Was it a bit easy for you knowing that um, you were running on a slate that was successful last year? Uh, I, was in I was more encouraged to know who I was working with. Mm. I knew that the current officers, the majority, were running. So it felt, I felt comfortable and encouraged to have worked with a bunch of people that knew how to run a successful campaign. So I wouldn't say I was confident, but I was encouraged that we were going to run a successful campaign and I knew if, I, if it was successful I would have been working with uh, hard-working people. Well, what can we expect from the two of you this year? We um, can expect hard work and um, I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm going to be a friendly face, approachable and my office is going to be an open door so that if anybody needs me, they know where I am. And you, Josh? Uh, everything that's in my manifesto, really. Um, uh, professionalism, hard work. Um, I want to try and lobby with the university as much as I can to represent students and, and the issues they have. Um, and so I think um, everything, as I say, in my manifesto, uh, plus more, hopefully. Is there any the big thing, quickly, finally, is there any big thing that you want to change? I want to try and improve the current timetable system, not, mm. uh, you know, make it better, full stop, because I don't think that's going to happen in a year. Mm -hmm. But uh, as long as we can see some sort of improvement and more students are happy and satisfied yeah. with their timetables, then I'll end the year very happy. And you, Emily? Um, probably my manifesto point of a students' union fund that students um, will have access to that will be easier to get than the emergency fund, mm. um, which will help students. Okay, sorry, um, I just have to cut you off there, but thank everywhere. you both for joining us today on Hood TV. That's fine. Thank you. And uh, for a full list of winners, do go on to Huddersfield.su. Now on to something a bit more stylish. Huddersfield's fashion design students are gearing up to have their work displayed in the annual graduate fashion show. The show gives final year students the opportunity to showcase their work to industry reps, staff and members of the public. The collections on display cover a wide array of styles, from e evening wear to street fashion, and the students have full say over what pieces are displayed to guests during the event. The show will take place in the atrium of the Creative Arts Building this coming June. Claire Evans, the course leader for fashion design, spoke to Hub TV about the show and the fashion design course. We've got a show, we're doing the foyer of the Creative Arts Building, which will take place in June of this year. So the students get to show their work then. We have a first year scene, so some of the first year work show, second year scene, and then the final years get to show their work as well. We'll show between six and two pieces in the final show. I think we're running a very good course, we have very, very successful, inspiring students and some really good work for us. Um, and it's, it's enjoyable to work with them and it's you know, a great course if anyone's interested in getting in contact with them. Now on to this year's Battle of the Bands and what a battle it was. The event, which took place as usual in our Students' Union this March, saw a wide range of acts compete to win the all-important title. Byron Street Social was this year's winning band, claiming the title by a large margin. Their prize is recording their own EP in state-of-the-art facilities at Big Sky Records, in addition to performing in a headline slot at this year's Oxjam Music Festival in Huddersfield. Last year's winners, Feeds, were invited back to the 2013 Battle of the Bands as this year's special guests. Other bands taking part alongside Byron Street Social were the Huddersfield University Funk Band, Sam and the Sidechains, Naked, Red Shift and Sonder. A very memorable show then. Um, and finally, one of the biggest events of the year for students is here. Varsity returns to Huddersfield for its 25th anniversary. The annual sporting battle between Huddersfield and Bradford, which began in 1988, takes place at the end of March with teams of sports people from each uni attempting to thrash each other in uh, tennis, hockey, archery, football, rugby league and rugby union, squash, volleyball, water polo and a whole load of other sports. Uh, the usual format of Varsity continues, 22 matches across 16 sports, each played for one point, encouraging the notion of teamwork, good sportsmanship and pride in the university you were from. Huddersfield claimed victory at last year's Varsity, winning 11 matches to Bradford 7, but will we be so lucky this time round, especially on such a historic milestone? Well, Hud TV will be there to cover this year's uh, fight for victory between Huddersfield and Bradford. Do tune in next month to see some essential Varsity 2013 highlights. Don't forget, if you've missed any of our programmes, just log on to huddersfield.su to catch up. But that's it for this second edition of Hud TV. We're back next month with our third and final programme, handkerchiefs at the ready. Until then, goodbye and thanks for watching. <laughs>